we're going to get started. It's uh, 6 30. Let's call the meeting order. How do you want to just take a quick roll call, please? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Tom? Here. Larry? Oh, sorry. Here. <laughs> Dean? Here. And then I'm marking Deb, Dale, and Lynn as absent. And we're hoping Aaron will sign up. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, folks, we've got a busy night. We're, we're going to do a, uh, we've got a sketch plan for um, Lansing Station Road. Then we have a sketch plan, minor subdivision, Finger Lakes Land Trust. Cedar View. Um, next is another sketch plan, uh, Ridge Road. Um, it's also Finger Lakes Land Trust. Uh, next is a um, is a um, Kirby a Goodman Road um, operation of a kennel within a single family home. Uh, East Shore Circle, Jesse Young, and that's a, a public uh, hearing preliminary and discussion of the site plan and last is uh, Dandy Mart and we're going to talk about uh, the seeker tonight with Dandy Mart. So let's get started. Uh, first is um, the sketch plan for uh, Lansing Station Road. Anyone here for that? Yes. Please. Come on up to the table please. And could you give your name just real quickly for the folks out there? Kenneth Gordon. Hi. Okay. Um, you know, I noticed on the on the um, the um, action it says um, applicant proposes uh, zone into one lot of four acres, but on the ag data statement it says one lot of 17 acres. So, can you give us an idea what's what's going on here? I'm trying to subdivide the 17.7 acres, which would be lot B in the new updated survey. Okay, so so you're going to be conveying lot B, is that the idea? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be roughly 17 acres. And then on the map we have a parcel A to the, I believe that's to the east, and a parcel C to the west, and parcel D to the south, is that correct? Correct. So, you, so because we're splitting out parcel B, there'll be a new parcel by location with parcel C, A is going to be, you're going to retain, correct? Correct. C already has a, C has already been approved for a subdivision. Oh, it has. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that until three weeks ago. All right. Is that an existing tax parcel then now? It's all under the one tax number now. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that it had been 20 some years ago. Okay. We had a little meeting here at the one of the offices down the hall. Okay. And that's as far as it went. Okay, and then what are you going to do with parcel D? Parcel D is I'm putting it up for sale. So then you're, you're going to be subdividing it into three parcels, then, right? A, B, and D. Yeah, A will maintain where our house is. Right. That will maintain the same tax map number we have now. Okay. Um, B is being sold. C and D are being listed for sale. Okay, and then uh, I noticed on the Ag data statement it says NA for um, farming operations. That's, that just means there's no one within 500 feet? No, sir. Okay. And I do have the new short form. Oh, you do? All right. All right. I talked to Heather <laughs> earlier today when I noticed they had the wrong. Yeah, you have well, don't need this, this big form to be completed. No, I was, uh, didn't really pertain to. Okay, board, any questions? Um, this, this application is simply for the subdivision of parcel A and par or parcel A from parcel B. Parcel D doesn't appear on the application or anything. No, it's just for parcel B. Yeah. So parcel D has nothing to do with No. No, it's just for clarification. Oh, I'm sorry. Just B is what I'm trying to subdivide. Okay, so if you if if you want to sell parcel D, then you have to come back. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so 
So parcel A and parcel D will all be one tax parcel. Is that correct? Correct. Right now. Okay. Correct. All right. And then B will have its own tax okay. number C. Okay. So, folks, anything else? Tom, Dean, Sandy? All right, so I guess we've got a schedule of public hearing. And you've already done the uh, short form, right? Yes, sir, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'll bring it up when you ask for it. Okay. So, I'll take that and get it to you. What's that? I'll take that and get it okay, scanned right. to you. So I guess we'll just have a motion for uh, scheduling a public hearing for the next um, the next meeting. So moved. Dean? Second. Uh, Tom? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay, I guess we're set for today. You just drop that off to Heather. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, next, um, Fingerless Land Trust. Uh, we've got a couple with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go here, but it's easier. Should be done. <laughs> no worries. First one is one, let's see if we will. Hi, could you give your name to her with the folks sure. out there, please? My name is Kate Riley. My name is Amy Olney. Okay. Um, so let's, I guess we're going to talk about the um, the Cedar View Golf Course. Um, just a quick um, what's going on, if you would, please. Sure. It's a minor subdivision. The Finger Lakes Land Trust is purchasing... Um, of one tax parcel, which okay. is the subdivision we're talking about, and then um, the lakeside parcel um, just west of that subdivided parcel. This is going to be eventually transferred to New York State and become part of the Bell Station Preserve that is just across Nut Ridge Road. Okay. What's, uh, what's going to happen with the clubhouse in the uh, outbuildings? That's going to be left up to um, New York State, so okay. we're not. We don't have a fixed plan as of right now. Folks, any questions? So, no. To be clear, Parcel B is the one that Finger Lakes Land Trust is doing. Um, I'm. So, which map are you looking at? I, I think B is the uh, parcel to the west. You're buying that as a whole. A is closer to the lake. So we're, it's parcel. Yeah. 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 There's Lake Ridge Road, so the lake is there. So is it like parcel? Yeah. Those, yeah. The parcel closer to the lake, yeah. Closer, so it's parcel A. Yeah. Okay. Parcel B is being retained by uh, like uh, Martina Larson. Or right. To the lake. Right. This is the lake, so this is next to the Yeah. So it's correct. Yeah. Well, we just say A and B is reversed. On one of the maps? Ramps. Okay. And I noticed um, mm -hmm. it's it's not in the ag district, correct? It I'm is not. It? No, it's not. And um, no 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 portion is being farmed or worked right now on the site. That's correct. Okay. Um, did you go folks get a chance to look at that short form? Anyone? Yeah. I had a question. Uh, brief description of the proposed action. Uh, it talks about a 286-acre Bell Station wildlife management area. The, the property is 490 acres. Is that right? Uh, yeah. So, so what's happening to that remaining acre? Um, there is um, some of the property that we're looking at for a, a different project that won't be used for public trails. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what the plan is for that. Yeah. It's the part that's closer up to Lake Ridge Road. Yeah, I think there was talk about trying to use that for solar. Uh, yeah, there has been talk about that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. But it, you know, if you combine them all and you had 500 acres, it could be uh, conveyed to the state under the state forest. Mm -hmm. And under that, under that umbrella, it would be taxable for town and school purposes if it became a taxable state forest. Okay. But you need 500 acres 
of contiguous land, mm -hmm. which would be ideal right. for the community. Right. If you if we could get something like that, but you're saying portion of that acreage is going to end up going to solar farms. Well, that's. I mean, they don't know what it's going to be used for yet. Right? Yeah, we don't have anything finalized. Yeah. That's right. So that portion that you're talking about, though, is not forested. It's an ag, ag uh, vacant ag land right now. So your question, uh, you know, 500 acres for, for state forest, uh, what's the story with the uh, state wildlife management areas? That are, can that have a... I, I don't know all the details, but I know if, if, if there's, there's an umbrella that makes some of the state lands taxable. Right. Right. It has to be 500 acres right. of contiguous land. Right. So ideally, I think the town would like to see that because the town is going to get tax dollars from school, for school and town right. purposes. Right. And that would be ideal. Yeah, I, I don't know what the status of it is, if it's a what. I mean, they're talking, you're talking about making the state wildlife management area. That's DEC. right, that's what DEC is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the story is. All right, yeah, I'm just saying that that should be part of the conversation. Um, well, wouldn't it, if, it, if part of it did become a solar farm, that would definitely be taxable still, right? Right, 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 I believe so, depending on how. I, I think your plan is to swap that land, right, for the solar, and then try and get more lake shore from the, the power. I'm, I, I'm not, I, don't, I haven't heard that particularly. That's not exactly in my purview. No, that's, that's what Andy said <laughs> told me. Okay, well, if Andy, straight from the horse's mouth, I guess. <laughs> you have a good authority. Um, yeah, I'm sure, you know, plans change over time. Yeah, I mean, ideally, it would be great to have more of that lakeshore undeveloped, but. Okay, anything else on that short form? I noticed uh, um, page two of three, it says portion of the site um, adjoining lands um, regulated by state agency. You've got the yes. You probably should have just put Cuba Lake there, right? Isn't that? Um, I guess I was thinking across the road is the, the Bell oh. Station property, but. Wetlands or water bodies, so should that be no then in 13A? Um, I guess the yes was uh, Cayuga Lake. It was what I'm sorry? Cayuga Lake. Okay, so then, yeah, and then, then if so, so, if yes, identify the wetland or water body, we should have just had Cuba Lake there. Oh, I see. Thing. I see what you're saying. Okay. All right. Yep. And then, and then I got a kick out of the uh, Lake Sturgeon on 15. Anyone else on uh, this sh uh, short form? Well, that Lake Sturgeon question comes up too, but I think that uh, one of the other things that we can hear that. It's automatically filled. Uh, yeah. Okay, any questions? Erin, is Erin out there? She's oh, she is? Erin, you there? Questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm just I'm a little bit confused in the second paragraph because it talks about something other than what we're looking at here. So it says it consists of approximately 125 acres. So we're looking at parcels A and B here, mm -hmm. no matter how you dice them up, I guess. But we're looking at this. If we go down to uh, near the bottom here, it says that we have two parcels. One's 59.4 acres. Mm -hmm. Parcel A, remainder, parcel B, 50.9 acres. So it doesn't add up to 125. So I'm sure you can tell me where the 125 comes from. Yeah, I think that those two numbers, I, it was a mistake, and there was an updated um, short form that was sent with the correct acreage. Um, the numbers were taken from the lower parcel that's not part of the subdivision. Okay. Accidentally, so the okay. the whole. So it's parcel. not 125 and 75 and 50.9. Right. It's really 59.4 and 50.9. That's right. Okay. So 59.4, 50.9. Okay. So we're going to make those changes. 110.3. That's what we're going to get those changes mm -hmm. here. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Any folks, anything else about this one? No, this is one of those items are corrected. Okay, and then so I guess we've got to schedule a public, public hearing on this as well. So, so move, Dean, for second? Yes. Larry, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Okay, so let's move on to the, uh, the next land trust. And um, you're just purchasing some additional acreage, is that correct? Uh, that's correct. So 20, approximately 20 acres on the the kind of southwest side of Ridge Road, which adjacent to the Land Trust uh, property, the Sims Jenning Cuga Cliffs Preserve. So, so this that's will be parcel A. Parcel A is what we plan to purchase. Yes, parcel B will be retained by the current owners. Any other questions, folks? So parcel A is. Uh, is it approximately 18 acres? Is that uh, I believe 20.6 more 20. or less. 6. And of that, 18 is currently in production? Correct. Production. Correct. And your purpose is you're looking at using it for parking? Uh, no, it will be uh, open sort of grassland habitat uh, buffer to the, to the preserve. Do you know what the current ag use is? Hey. It's just hay. Right. Anything else, folks? Anything yeah. else is adjacent to your other property? Correct. Correct. Okay, I guess we'll next is a uh, public hearing for this as well. So, so moved. Dean first, second, second, very second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. I guess we're set for tonight. See you next, next month. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, and you said you, 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 said you already sent in a revised one of these um, the short forms, correct? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, uh, next, uh, what we have? Uh, we have uh, Barksville Inn. Anyone here for that? Hi, right, would you give me your name? I'm oh, sure, Kevin Kirby. Okay. And uh, can you give us a little brief idea on what's going on? Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to build. Uh, uh, a primary residency for myself, mm -hmm. after looking for a long time and being able to find anything that was suitable, um, I decided to build. Um, so I'm going to build a one-story ranch with no uh, steps, uh, sort of steel frame house, and then build the inside out that I, so it can accommodate me. Um, I'm on disability, I got a disability 10 years ago, so uh, since I'm home all day, I've started a simple little dog boarding business that I have a few dogs, I have some dogs over my house mm -hmm. when people go on vacation and whatnot. Um, and then I learned that in advancing uh, four more dogs is considered a kennel, um, which is, it's not in Brooklyn Dale where I currently am. So that's why I needed to come before you to uh, get approval for uh, that. So it's really a primary residence with just some, with a, it's not a, it's not a kennel, it's just, I, so I, I, I noticed uh, on the sketch there was, uh, it, it said, I think, a covered patio. Is that where you're going to have a dog run? No. No? There's a, there, well, there's, there's a back patio. That's just the, the residence back patio. And then there's the backyard and a plenty of fencing in the backyard. Oh, so you are going to fence in the yard for the dog? Yes. Yep. Okay. And looking at the aerial photo, um, you, you don't have very many neighbors that are close by, correct? You're correct. Right back off the road. Yeah, the, the property is situated, so the house will be about, well, I think we moved it back a little farther. 300 feet. About 300 to 330 feet off the road. Okay. Um, and then the fenced in area will then be behind that. And then behind us, there's a, about 120 acres of hay field. Okay. Um, so there's no, there's no one behind us either. But there are neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, there are neighbors. Yeah, I'm one of them. Okay, we'll get, we'll get you in a second here. Okay. Um, um, so, uh, your notes say that you, uh, the dogs will be inside during the evening hours. Is that, mm -hmm. that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, and 
And uh, one other thing I noticed, uh, if if it's 300 feet driveway, if the driveway's 300 feet, there is uh, different standards for the driveway. Did they let you know that? No. So mm -hmm. it's, if it's like 250, uh, right, is that correct? Over 300? I can talk to that. Um, so if the driveway is over 150 feet, um, it's required to be 20 feet wide and it's required to have a 20 foot ham, ham, 120 foot hammerhead, 60 foot wide, or a 96 foot diameter called sack. It's for a turnaround for the fire apparatus. For emergency purposes, yes. yes. That was, um, I believe we discussed that with John um, a while back. I really don't know all the okay. details. Oh, thank you so much. It's right here. Okay. The drawing shows a 20 foot wide access. But there's no and it shows it's 21 foot wide drive. There's no more development on the site. All, all that's there right now is the driveway. Right. The hammerhead was built. Go I'm sorry, we don't even have a, a yard yet, or we're still in the... I was by there today, I don't... Yeah, <laughs> okay. No worries. I was to get into it. It looked pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, part of this, uh, I didn't see an ag data statement. Right? We need one of those? I didn't... Did you guys see one in your package? So that's something you're going to have to fill out complete as well as part of the process. And, and then the question is, do we want to have a uh, board members, do we want to have a um, public hearing on this? Do we want to schedule that? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, I guess there was a comment. I mean, since you're here, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and do you want to comment on this? Sure. All right, go ahead. Um, my name is Lisa Schultz. I live directly across the street at 90 there at 89. Um, I have a couple of questions about are we going to, before public hearing, have information on the environmental impact statement regarding the roads, the water, the sewer, and the waste from all the animals, what's going to happen with all that. Um, you know, I'm just interested, I mean, the neighbor directly to the glance here, the neighbor directly there. Mm -hmm. um, she works nights. She sleeps all day. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm the only one here tonight, but I know okay. from the people that I've spoken with, which two up the street directly on both sides of 89, 90, uh, the next one, myself, and down the road, we're all worried about what's going to happen with the water and the noise and the fecal matter. Okay. Okay. So the board members have, have recommended that we have a public hearing. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, ask for um, a motion. Uh, Sandy. I, I have one more question. Sure. Uh, you describe this as not your typical dog kennel. So can you describe what how it's different? Well, for one, it's we don't have any kennels at all. It's a, it's a cage-free boarding, so it's you know, maximum like five dogs that are in our home. Right, no one is caged. So they're yeah, they're inside your house. Right, they're just in there. Inside. So it's yeah. a, like a maximum of five dogs that hang out with us in our living room. No dog is outside after 10 p.m. 10 p.m. is bring them in. And we have, it's mostly small dogs under 50 pounds. Um, so it's, you know, it's... We they're in our yard. We scoop up the poop and we put in the trash. There's really not, you know, it's, a, it's not. It, we're probably, yeah. I know people that have six dogs of their own. And, and uh, I mean, I can I can understand uh, neighbors being concerned about. Oh, of course. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, we work with property a lot, and there's you can hear dogs barking all over the place during the day, and you know when you read our website and you and you hear it's a cage-free boarding. Yeah. What comes to your mind? You think free range, but realistically, they are in.
closed and in it's parts and, and indoors. And it's exactly how big is that going to be? Small pen? I mean, size of this room? Maybe? Oh, it's not like our backyard, so probably bigger than this room. Yes. Bigger than this room. Yeah. It's our, our entire backyard that we do. And then we hang out with them and play with them during the day. And then we usually, off, they're off to come for a, a period of a week, usually when people travel. Um, we don't do it a day, so it won't be people just for a day or week dogs. that come for a week or two. Um, then we try to maximize it, maximum at 50 pounds, so we don't have any aggressive breeds or any long, large breeds. Have you had a chance to talk to the neighbors yet? Have not. Uh, we was going to do that. Well, this all came up that we were going to do it, but then the weather changed, so I was going to wait till spring um, because we're not even expected to begin building until May. So, okay. I so we'll wait, we, wait time. Let's, but, let's finish that public hearing. So, okay. Sandy said yes, and yeah. I'm looking for a second. <clears throat> second, Tom, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So, we're going to have a public hearing. Notices will go out to all the neighbors, correct, Heather? How yes. far? 600 feet. Okay. And then during that hearing next month, if you could go into detail for the neighbors on exactly what, I know you put it in writing here, maybe, um, how are we going to get this to the neighbors? They would have to, it's on the, it's on, uh, online, his comments and details here, mm -hmm. right? So you can go online to read. Yeah. There's a, there's a, the bills are online. There's a summary here, so you or your neighbors can go on and read this. And then you can give a brief uh, presentation to the neighbors uh, at the next meeting. Sure. All right. And also, you yep. need to fill out the egg statement. Yep. The yeah, eggs. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, make, I'll make sure it's not in our files, and if not, I'll get it to you. Okay. Okay. okay thanks. All right. I guess that folks. Anything else? Yeah. I'm assuming that when you come back, your site plan will be amended for a hammerhead or yeah. something. Sure. Okay, I guess we're set for it um, today. Okay, thanks. So, um, okay, so we Who's up next? Okay, I can see the arm. Guys, can you give your name to the folks out there, please? My name's Jesse Young, and I'm uh, representing the owners. Mm -hmm. I'm Scott Gibson. I'm the stormwater engineer in the project. Andy Sharaba, Sharaba Engineering. Hi, guys. Um, any changes from last time you were here? Well, um, what we did was we formalized the plan. Uh, when we were here last in November uh, with sketch plan, mm -hmm. uh, so we had some very nice hand sketches for you. Uh, we've now put CAD to the drawing, so the drawing set that you have in front of you uh, includes the subdivision of the entire uh, parcel. Um, as you recall from November, we're looking to subdivide the northern portion right. of the lands into five buildable lots. Mm -hmm. Two lots will be reserved for stormwater management practices uh, dedicated to the town, and then the largest lot, lot six, about 5.6 acres will be retained for the existing house that's currently on the north side of the Shore Circle. Uh, lot 7, which is the balance of the 23 acres on the south side of East Shore Circle between East Shore Drive, that's uh, going to remain a vacant parcel, and that will be uh, considered for the future subdivision in a separate phase. So a couple of uh, things I'd like to discuss today. One is the trail. And two is the uh, right of way and possible future road. Um, I, I spoke with John, board members, and John wanted us to discuss whether the board felt that this uh, future, the right of way and future road was a good idea. In the past, we've had problems, you know, down the road where um, that future road and who builds it and, and who's responsible for it. Should this be a public road as part of this uh, application? Yes. So, so. Larry? Uh, 
looking at it from the standpoint of that as a future phase of the project. Um, 